So, someone commented and said something um, on one of my England videos. That wasn't a bad message. Um, I, so far, I haven't received um, any bad feedback. But he said, so you want to leave over £20. So I just wanted to say this. Now, I wanted to clear some things up. It has nothing to do with paying £20, and that was just for lunch. I, I, that, that's not the reason for me. I, I think it would be silly because um, my lunch was expensive. That I wanted to, that I would want to leave um, over that. It, it, it's not that. It, well, it's not just that. Because I can go somewhere else and life could be a, a lot worse. Um, and like I said, in England, life is not that bad for me. But life is not that bad for me because I've been putting in work for years. And this is something I want to talk about. So, let's say this. I can, I have multiple qualifications and I'm working towards more. And I've started years ago. And I'm not saying it's been an easy road. It's been quite hectic. But now as I'm reaching the middle stage, the middle age or whatever, um, stage of my life, after becoming from an oven cleaner to a barber to tattooist to um, private hire drive, all these things. I've also went and got my qualifications in music and English, uh, an MA in teaching English um, and working on a PGC. Now, with that being said, I could go to almost any country I would like. Some will come with accommodation. Some will come pay for your flights. And if you don't like the accommodation, they'll give you money towards a different accommodation. They'll pay you a lot more money. Um, loads more money to go there and do what I could do here for a lot less. So I've prepared myself, and I say this, I know, I know girls that I've talked to in, 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 in the past who, one girl in particular, she used to always have a lot of money. And then one day I said, yo, she called me, she asked me for a tattoo. She said, I want a tattoo. I said, all right, don't worry. You always looked out for me. I got you. She said, no, I want to pay. I said, okay. I didn't know what to charge her. So she said, just give me a price. So I said, 100 pounds. She said, oh, you have to wait. I don't have 100 pounds. I said, okay. Don't worry. You, you don't have to pay. No, I want to pay. Okay. So that's the way it happened. She had epilepsy. And she was getting money. See, people know the system. She was getting money for herself, money for all her children. She was getting pimp. They was getting disability. And... She was enjoying life. And one day it stopped. See, she didn't prepare herself for when it was stopped. She prepared herself for everything else, but for when it was stopped. So, now she's in this situation. They cut everything, and she's stuck. What you see is me. And I'm not bragging or putting anyone down. I've always prepared myself for these hard times that we live in from from years ago, I knew things wasn't going to always be great. So I tried to prepare myself while they were still good. And people were making fun of me. See, in, in five years, you could be financially free. Maybe not completely where you want. You live like Mayweather, but you could live a decent life. Like I said, take three years to go to uni. Then do another year, do, a, do your MA. And then take another year and let, become a teacher. Five years done, go live any country you want. And there's other ways. Maybe you can go through being a nurse or a doctor or something, I don't know. And those the, the, there's loads of possibilities, you can do it all. But I'm just saying, in those terms, you can be free. 
and not have to struggle. And I say that because I didn't, I never knew so many people lived badly in England. Like, I never knew there was cockroaches. I'm meeting people who have flats that they own and other people in the flat who might be renting don't really take care of it. And they're getting cockroach. I've never seen one in England. I've seen them other countries. Not in England. There's people with cockroach infestation. People don't have money to eat. People, a lot of people are doing bad. And that's hard when you level up because them people, and I'm not saying everyone, but a lot of the people, like family, who see you level up, they'll start wanting to ask you for everything. Hey, can you do this for me? Can I have that? Listen, I put in the work. Why didn't you put the work in? Hmm. The same hours available to me are available to you. Why are you not putting the work in? What you want me to do? Hmm? I, I, I can guide you. I can't do the work for you. See, everything is effort. It's effort to wake up in the morning, take a shower, shave, put on a tie. It's effort. It's effort to take girls on dates, drive to where they are, buy them something, and, or, or treat them to a meal, talk to them. That takes effort. But people don't want to put no effort in today. They want everyone else to put effort in, and then they come along and and and, and see you at the finish line. It don't work like that. See, it's sad to see some places in England don't even look like England. Like, you go there, you not, if I took a picture, you never know what's in. People are living, don't have nothing. People don't turn on the heat. They only want to cook. They got cook, they don't cook. They scared. They got people living in flats that they brought and homeless people are sneaking in, destroying the properties, going to the toilet in front of people's doors like, like someone let a fox in. They just go to the toilet right there. They destroy the right draw on the walls and stuff. You think it, it's not even council places. People are sad. People are struggling. People are looking for, for ways out. They don't know what to do. Like I said, I was preparing for these times. Like people see you and they ask, what are you doing? Accuse you of, of, of doing illegal stuff. Nobody sees the work. My YouTube monetized now. I started at Christmas. <clears throat> I said, yo, I'm going to go hard. Now I understand how it works. It's monetized. Hmm? another source of income. Heck, I didn't even know these shorts that I'd be posting make money. Some of them are bringing in money. And they even got loads of views. So imagine the people that do got loads of views on here. They, they get money. And we're wondering how people are doing well. People put the work in before. Like I said, I didn't know there were so many people not doing well. People not have food. People struggling. Not turning on heat. Like I said, some people, you see them, you just assume. And then when you're doing well, sometimes if they're not doing well, it's kind of intimidating the people. Like I said, I'm just encouraging everyone. We want to keep positive energy. Do what you have to do. It might be hard to put the work in for the few years and live a good life. Like I said, I know tattooers that are nurses and piercers, and they, they got several incomes. You need about several. You know what I mean? Teach. And then teach privately. Do what you gotta do. Otherwise, you wanna suffer. Let's adapt or suffer, adapt or die, however you look at it. But you gotta put some work in, or you can forget. And that's all I'm saying. That guy made the comment. Like, I wanted to address it and say, but it's not that. I love England. Like I said, I was born in England. I love England. But I don't wanna just stay here my whole life. I'm loyal to it, but I want to live my life. If other places are going to take better care of me, then why not? Because when I go outside, say I wanted to go for a run and I put my 
um, what are they called, headphones on or whatever, I'd look over my shoulder. I see people, I'm running, and you look. When I was in China, I was out late in the night and didn't worry. Like, I felt safe. The energy felt safe. Where I lived, the energy don't feel that safe. And not a bad area. So, I, I just wanted to make that clear. Like, just make sure you're putting in the work to, to get to the freedom. And, you know, you don't want to be stuck here or stuck struggling. There's so many people struggling. You must learn from other cultures. Because, like I said, when I was cleaning ovens, and I would go to them big mansions, big houses. A lot of, some of the families of certain cultures all lived together. There was 10, 11 of them that lived in their big house. If, say, like my my family and them had a big house, it'd just be for them. I doubt they would invite 10 or 11 of their family members to come live with them. It would be their house, not our house. So we have to change our mentality. And like I said, no, I'm not wanting to leave because I paid 20 pounds for lunch in Tesco's. I want to leave because I have the resources to do so. And I want to experience life in other countries, improve. Um, I, I study linguistics too. I want to improve my languages and enjoy my life and enjoy the fruits of my labor that of all the years of hard work I put in. Like I said, people complain. But who complain when you go and do uh, a BA, an MA, a PDCE, you get them qualification. So you just stay one place and other places are willing to pay with your work. Like I said, I got skill after skill. One skill I learned, I learned the next one. And I still try to perfect the old one. I want an income. I might have been attracted to other aspects of things, but I still wanted a, a decent income that I could make any time. You know, I wanted to learn to trim my own hair. I didn't want to really cut people's hair. But, thank you. I just wanted to make that clear. Thank you for all that subscribe and like my videos. Um, my The community is growing. And it's crazy. Like I said, this got monetized. But thank you to everyone. Have a blessed day.